Hi everyone, this is Yingying with Daily Hope and welcome to today's workshop. Today we are going to talk about tobacco use among youth. So trying to understand the risk of tobacco. And here's the agenda for today's workshop. We are going to talk a little bit about tobacco and the health effects and then how it affected people's life. And the main point is on the youth smoking prevalence as it has been a problem in many countries. Also, the types of tobacco products and the factors of why kids start smoking. Okay, we are going to start off by talking about what is tobacco. Tobacco is a plant originally indigenous to the Americas, which is now grown across the world. Tobacco smoke is made up of thousands of chemicals, including at least 17 known to cause cancer. These cancer-causing chemicals are referred to as carcinogens. The ingredients of tobacco contain hundreds of deadly chemicals. We could find these ingredients in red poison, nail polish remover, like the fluid cleaning products and disinfecting products. However, the highly addictive substance in tobacco products is nicotine. It affects the development of the brain that controls our attention, our learning ability and self-control. So, what are the different health effects from smoking? Does anybody know? Yes, cancer. Cancer is the most common tobacco cause disease. And what else? Okay, let me share you about some of the least of the health effects. Actually, your teeth and nails will turn yellow. Your wrinkles and gray hair will develop faster. Overall, you just really age faster. Smoking causes different fertility problems in both men and women. Females to become less fertile, which means it's hardly to get pregnant. Men have a higher chance of impedance. In addition, your gums start to rot and have bad breath. The chemicals within the cigarettes, it's pretty much destroying your mouth. So mouth and oral cancer are not an exception. Also, smoking will weaken your eyes. You may lose your vision if continue to smoke. Smoking during your teen years affects your lungs development, which can cause different types of lung disease. In short, smoking has zero benefits to us, so it's better to quit today. Another pertinent point is the tobacco kills millions each year. Tobacco use increases the risk of death from many diseases, including heart disease, cancer, stroke, and respiratory disease. Tobacco kills one out of every five deaths in the United States, 5 million of people die from smoking each year. Tobacco is not only killing smokers, but also killing non-smokers. This is because people who exposure to secondhand smoke are likely being affected. It's likely 50,000 deaths from secondhand smoke in the United States every year. Next, we are going to discuss about the prevalence of youth smoking, which is also the main topic for today's. Tobacco use among youth is rapidly increasing in many countries. In some, tobacco is now more commonly used by youth than adults. Each day in the United States, about 1,600 youth smoke their first cigarettes and nearly 235 youth smoking. Oh, sorry, 235 youth start smoking every day. If cigarette smoking continues at the current rate among youth in this country, 5.6 million of today's Americans younger than 18 will die early from a smoking-related illness. Could you imagine that how serious is the tobacco epidemic to the world? Yes, it is very serious. Thus, youth deserve the attention to quit tobacco. And next, we are going to talk about the types of tobacco products. Although cigarette smoking is the most common type of tobacco used among youth worldwide, the use of other tobacco products is also very common in some populations. The tobacco products that show in the picture are used among high school students. They are e-cigarettes, which, which is the most popular one, cigars, cigarettes, smokeless tobacco, hookahs, heated tobacco products, and pipe tobacco and flavorings in tobacco products can make them more appealing to youth. This is why they are sold into the e-cigarettes or vape. In 2020, 85% of high school students and 74% of middle school students who use tobacco products in the past 30 days reported using a flavored tobacco product during that time. Many young people use two or more tobacco products. 
In 2020, nearly three of every 100 middle school students and about eight of every 100 high school students reported current use of two or more tobacco products in the past 30 days. In 2019, about 12 of every 100 middle school students and about 30 of every 100 high school students say they had ever tried two or more tobacco products. Youth who use multiple tobacco products are at higher risk for developing nicotine dependence and might be more likely to continue using tobacco into adulthood. Any kind of tobacco products are actually harmful to our health. So have you wondered why nowadays kids start smoking? Actually, there are a few factors that influence them to start. The first one, family influence, parents, is being an important role to their children. Children may be inherit parents' behavior. Thus, if, if parents are smokers, their children are likely to follow too. Second, peer influence. Friend is the second person we spend longer time with. It's hard to resist when friends encourage them to try cigarettes and to keep smoking, especially when they don't want to lose their friend. And third, to cope with stress. Everyone has their own stress, included you. It might be academic performance, family problem, and relationship problem. As they are still young, they might be lacking knowledge about the harmfulness of tobacco. They believe smoking helps them relax instead of damaging them. And the last one, marketing influence. The, the tobacco industry has found creative ways to market its products, including through attractive packaging, and also the price is just right. In places where low, low tobacco taxes have kept the price down, it is easier for kids to afford cigarettes. And all right, that's the end of our workshop for today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Daily Hope. We are on Instagram. Please feel free to reach out with questions or comments about the workshop. We love hearing feedback and hope you all have a great day.